Welcome back to the Excel VBA Real World Task Series. Now, let's talk about the rhythm of application development. Maybe you didn't see that one coming, but it's a really important topic. And I think we've seen it in this series because we don't follow a kind of steady slope when we're doing development. For example, Excel VBA development, it's not steady progress. Actually, what happens is we have these kind of spurts of progress and then these plateaus where we're kind of preparing things, working out the concepts, you probably felt that in this series. So where are we now in this kind of rhythm of application development? Well, in the previous video, we put in quite a lot of code. We put in this little total mechanism to total things up. Now, that means it's a bit like our tools are out, we've been using them, our work area is a bit dirty. It's time to do some consolidation, time to do some tidying up. If we don't do that tidying up, then things could get messy. Our workspace, you know, we don't wanna do work in. That means we stop our development session. So, kind of a dry topic, but super important to the VBA developer. Let's get back into the file. So, looking through the code now, and what opportunities do we have here for improving things, for tidying things up? Well, already in this series, we've spoken about finding opportunities to reduce the amount of code. More code means more cognitive load, more likelihood of mistakes. And just stress generally, you know, people don't want to read through a lot of code. So can we get rid of some repeated structures? Well, what about just here? We've got a repeated structure. So this chunk of code here, is repeated and the same here we've got a repeated structure so can we quickly put something in to simplify this avoid that repeated structure what ideas do you have here it's something we've already used in this series yep we can use with end with here just to help us simplify tidy things up so i'm going to say with first and then i'm going to take this chunk of code just up to the final dot value so not including the final dot value control x uh, to cut and then with this looks right and then we've got to get rid of the same chunk of code in the second line and then we can put this all on one line get rid of that underscore make sure you have the dots here those dots are essential you can just about see them in your screenshot you're gonna need those dots, it won't work without the dots, and then we don't have a dot at the end here, there's no dot after that bracket, then we can close this with an end with. Okay, so you could just skip back in the video and compare the two structures. Which one would you rather look at? I know I'd much rather look at this than at a repeated structure. Right, let's quickly test, so we've done a little bit of work, let's quickly test it, Control S, save the file, and then let's just pull the VBA editor across a little bit, a little bit of resizing, and then I'm gonna play the code here, and then let's see what happens. F5 key, play the code, and everything seems to be in order. So what else can we do? Well, we can make another kind of quick win here, just head over to the other side of the screen. We've got another repeated structure at the bottom here, so stop the video, try to put with end with in, and get it working. So stop the video, try to do it yourself. I'm gonna do it now, so width. And we've got the same thing here. Excel tells us, Excel trying to help the VBA editor, telling us that it, it, it needs something to go with the width. Thank you, uh, VBA editor. And then we can get rid of all of this up to that dot and then the property. And then the same thing here, get rid of all of this up to the dot on the same line now we don't need the underscore because everything is on the same line and then we can say ends with there okay and i think it's appropriate here to indent mm, yeah let's just have some indentation here that just helps us understand so again control let's save the file f5 key run the routine and there we go so we did our testing i didn't get the syntax right so that shows us how important it is to do the testing and we can just put dot value in there okay control s save the file right f5 key run the code and looking at the sheet now yep everything seems reasonable just going to do a quick test and yeah this adds up to 145 outside of your screenshot good 
So done a bit of tidying up there. I'd like to also, or what do you think? What else is this code missing? What else is this code missing? What do you think? Well, we're missing some annotations here. You know, looking at the code, I can't quickly understand uh, what's going on. So this line of code, for example, gets the row position of the name. And this line of code, we know, well, what does it do? Well, this is putting the, yep, this is putting the total in here, okay? So add up total, and the total is in column H. The total in col H, there we go. And then here we're adding uh, to the sheet column. Okay, so just a few annotations that are going to make things clearer. What else can we make clearer here? And yeah, so we can say clear out previous data here. So here, of course, we're calling the routine to clear out the code. We've got our variable declaration there, fairly happy with that. And this helps us position total cell, total column, we could say. And then, yep, yeah, loop through loop through analysis sheets, we can say. Now, this is the beginning of a loop, so we can also put this annotation at the end of the loop. That helps us understand, you know, identify the beginning and the end of, loop, of the loop. So just copy, copy that comment down. I'm going to say end, end loop through analysis sheets there. With sheets counter, okay, let's say with this analysis sheet here. And again, because this is with, there must be an end with somewhere. So we can copy this comment down, control V, paste it in and just say end with this analysis sheet. Chris analysis, okay. So let's say put into mechanism. So here we're referring to this mechanism we have at the top, which allows us to identify if a name actually appears uh, currently or not. And that controls what we do, whether we add the name to the list. Uh, put the name in the list, makes sense. Get the row position of the name, made sense. Add up to uh, plus one on the sheet column. So we've got our sheet columns here. So that line of code is putting a plus one on that. And then, yeah, putting plus one on the total column, which is in column H here, makes sense. Okay, and then next, Chris Cell. Let's just annotate this loop here. Okay, so let's just say loop through entries. Very simple. And then at the bottom here again, end loop through entries. Good. Good. So we've gone from having a, a routine uh, with no annotations and with some repeated structures to having a routine with fewer repeated structures. Although we could argue there's still some in there, but there's certainly fewer repeated structures and well annotated. And this is so helpful, you know, in my work. I'm working probably on 10 or 12 projects at any one time. I need to be able to quickly get back into a file and understand what is going on. You know, just because you've written the code doesn't necessarily mean you're going to understand what's going on. But there's more than that. This will actually help the code run efficiently. You know, we've reduced the amount of code here. That means the code will execute faster. And when I've done this, I've gone through a routine, put in all of the widths and end widths. I've um, increased the runtime or rather decreased the runtime, improved the efficiency by 10 or 20 percent. So it's not just going to make things easier for us, reduce that cognitive load, load. It's actually going to improve the efficiency of the code, too. So this video all about the rhythm of application development. You know, we're saying it's not just like this steady progression. There's plateaus where we're not doing much preparing things, thinking clearly about concepts. Then we have these spurts of development. We've got to make sure after those spurts of development, we tidy our tools away, go through the, the code, improve the efficiency, keep it lean, make sure that we keep wanting to come back to work with the file. See you in the next video.